Welcome back to Pavli. Guys, in this video, you will be learning how you can directly and automatically send one Slack channel message into another Slack channel. Yes, guys. So suppose that you have a community on a Slack channel in which you have your users, your clients, your leads and your customers and you're interacting with them and you're taking inputs and feedbacks from your users in that Slack channel and you want to send those inputs to your team working on another Slack channel. Okay, so this automation is going to help you a lot in this. Let me show you on my screen. Here you can see guys, with the help of this automation, as and when you are going to receive a message from your community or your audience in a Slack channel, the same message or input is going to be delivered to your team as a new message on another Slack channel automatically. So you don't have to manually sort out the inputs and the messages that you're receiving from your users and you don't have to manually send those inputs to your team. So it will surely save your time, your energy and you can focus on more productive things. And guys, to make this happen, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And the best part is anyone can set up this automation very easily without any coding skills. So guys, now let me show you how you can also set up this. So to set up this automation, first of all, we need to reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect application. And to reach here, you have to use this link, pabli.com slash connect. And we have pasted this same in the description as well. From here, you have to set up your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes by clicking on this sign up free button and you will get 100 free automation tasks for every new month. So sign up right now and then log in to reach here. And guys, here you have to create a workflow of automation. For that, just click on this create workflow button and here you can give a suitable or relevant name to the, your workflow. So here I'm giving the name here as send one slack slack channel message to other channel okay so after giving the name like this you just have to click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is loading up here and on this page you will find these two things first the trigger and the action so guys automation is going to work on these two things so the trigger here is the happening of an event which is going to trigger or start this workflow and the action would be the response towards the trigger. As in our use case, the trigger would be receiving of a channel message from one channel and the action towards that trigger would be to send that same message on another channel. Okay. So first of all, you have to set up this trigger. So from this choose app field, you have to choose the trigger application as Slack. So search for Slack here. Okay, this is it, select it. And in the trigger event, you have to select this uh, new message option. So it will trigger when a new message is posted. Okay. And you can see here it is written every 10 minutes and it is showing this trigger will check for new data in every 10 minutes. This means this trigger is going to check in every 10 minutes if there is, an, if there is any new message in the Slack channel. And if there is any, this workflow is going to trigger and fetch the data of the message from the Slack channel, right? So from here, click on connect button and from this window, select add new connection. And here you can give a name to this connection also. And here click on connect with Slack to connect with Slack channel. And here you can see it is asking for the token type. And here we have two token types, user or bot. So for uh, each of these two token types, we have different kind of permissions. And if you want to know more about this, you just, can, you just can click here on this here word and you will reach this page guys. And from here you can see the permissions related to the uh, token types, user or bot. So if you select bot here uh, or you, if you select user here, you will get the following permissions. And if you select bot here, you will get the following permissions. So according to our need, we are selecting user here. Okay. So you can read the uh, permissions and you can use the token types. Okay. And then click on save. And that will bring you to this window. If you're not logged in, it will first bring you to the login window. As I have already logged in into my Slack channel, it is just asking for giving the access to Pabli Connect. So from here, you have to click on allow and allow the access. And you can see we are getting connected with Slack. Okay, so we are now connected and here it is asking to select the channel. So let me show you guys. 
these are the two channels I have for one is Pavli integration user and other is Pavli integration team. So here in this Pavli integration user channel, I am receiving the inputs from my community, from my clients and leads. And I want to send the inputs to my team here present on Pavli integration team channel. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to select this channel, Pavli integration user. So you will find the channels name from this list. When you click here, it will show you the list of all the channels that you have. From here, you can search for your channel. Okay, so after selecting the channel, you can see we have this button here, save and send test request. So when you click on this button, it will fetch the data of the most recently uh, posted message from the channel. So you can see in my channel here, the last message was from Ranjan Mishra. This was the message. Let me show you how you can uh, fetch the test message. I am typing a message here, guys, and I'm sending a message here. So my message is this. I want a new integration for my Slack channels. Okay, just a kind of sample message I'm writing here. Okay, and I'm sending this message here in this Pavli integration user channel. This is the last message and the most recent one. Okay, now let me click on save and send test request here. And let's see if the data got captured and you can see the data of the most recent message got captured here and the message is this I want a new integration for my Slack channel. Okay. And here you can find the messages elements and all other things. Okay. But guys here you can see we didn't get the data of the user name or the person who have sent this message. We didn't get the data of that person. So uh, I'm going to fetch the details of the person also by using this action step. So from this action step, I'm going to connect Slack again. So here you will find Slack connected, select it first. And in the action event here, I'm going to use an action event, which is called uh, get user by ID. Okay, here it is get user by ID selected. And you can see in the first step where we have fetched the test data, we got a user ID guys. So you can see in this test data, we got this user label here and this is the user ID. And with the help of this user ID, I'm going to fetch the details of the person who have sent the message. Okay. So now here in the section step, click on connect. Okay. And from this window, select add new connection, then click on connect with Slack. And here it is asking for the uh, token type again. So I'm selecting user again here. Okay. I'm copying it and pasting it here then click on save and here click on allow and we'll be connected again with slack okay you can see we are connected again and here it is asking for the user id so here in this field i'm going to map this label this user label so to map it here just click on this user id field and it will show you the slack new message step in the drop down and when you click on it you will see all the data that you have received as, as the test data here only. So from here, map this user ID, then click on save and send test request and it will show you the details of the user in this response. You can see we got the username as this Ashira824 and the real username is this. Okay. And it is showing all other de details related to the user as the email ID as well. Right. Now guys, I want to send the message details to another Slack channel of mine, which is this in which my team is present. Okay. For that to happen, I'm going to click on this plus icon and another action step will open up. And from here, you have to select Slack again. Okay. So here in the action event, now the action event would be send channel message. Okay. So select send channel message, then click on connect. And from here, guys, now we can use the existing connections that we have as we have already connected with Slack in previous two steps. So I can use that connections only. Okay. So just select this existing connection option. And from this connections list, you can see all the connections that you have already uh, made with Slack and you can select any of the connections. I am selecting the most recent one. And now I just have to click on save and I'll be connected again with Slack. Okay. And from here you have to select the channel now on which you want to send the message. So I want to send the message to my team on Pavli integration team channel. 
So I'm going to select this channel from here, search for Pavli integration team. Here it is selected. Here in the message field, I'm going to type the message and here I'm going to type we have received a new input from user channel okay and here i'm entering the messages and here guys i'm going to map the message that i have received as the test message here you can see in the first step in this text label I got the whole message from the channel okay so I'm going to map this label here guys in this message body so just click here and from this first step map this text label okay so when you map the labels here what will happen after setting up this automation in real time whenever you are going to receive any message in this channel in your in the user channel these labels are going to change automatically and a new message will be delivered to another channel okay that's why it is important to map the data now guys here i'm going to add one more thing uh, the user name is okay and here i'm going to map the user name from the second step where we have fetched the details of the user this is the user name and if you want to map the email id as well for further communication, you can map the email ID of user also from the second step only you will find the uh, email ID which is here. Okay, so this is the message I want to send to my team. Okay, so we are not sending any image so you can I'm leaving these things blank. Okay, and in the bot name you can map the bot name as the username of the uh, message uh, sender which is this. If you want to put a bot icon, you can add an image URL here. We are not sending any links, so no, no, no need to select anything here. Okay, so we are done mapping the required details to send a message. So by clicking on save and send test request now, we can see the connection is working or not and a test message will be delivered to this channel. So here you can see on this parallel integration team channel, the most recent message was this. Now let me click on save and send test request and let's see if we got a new message there. So this is the response we have received. Let's check in our channel and you can see we have received a new message here with the same bot name as Ashira824 and the message is this. We have received a new input from user channel. The message is this. I want a new integration for my Slack channel. The user ID is this. The email ID is this. So this is the same data that I have mapped here that got transferred to my another channel so this is how it is going to work guys our connection is working fine and we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up this automation only once guys after that you don't have to do anything manually here in this workflow after that as and when you are going to receive any message in this channel the same message will be delivered to your team on this channel automatically and guys the best part is you can use the same workflow that I have created because I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free Pavli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel